In the previous checkpoint, you learned that a real transfer is not ideal and that is that it is not 100% efficient. This was a limitation to what you learned in the checkpoint before that, where you learned how to calculate the output voltage and current for an ideal transformer. Well, now it is natural to ask whether we are able to similarly calculate the output voltage and current of a, no of a non ideal transformer. So let us work through an example. Let's say you want to step down the voltage from a power transmission line to your house line for use. Use a transformer that is only 81% efficient and the power input from the transmission line is 1000 kilowatts. So what is the power output from this transformer? Since the definition of efficiency is the output power over the input power, you can easily calculate the, out the power output by multiplying the power input by the efficiency of the transformer. Thus, the power output is 81% of 1000 kilowatts, which is 810 kilowatts. Now that you know the power output of a secondary coil, what about the voltage or current output? Recall that in, a no ideal, in, in an ideal transformer, given the input peak voltage and peak current in the primary coil as VP and IP respectively, we may write the output peak voltage and peak current as follows. We may easily check that the output power is equal to the input power by showing that VI, uh, Vs times Is is equal to VP times IP. In the case of a non-ideal transformer, however, the output power is not equal to input power, but rather Ps is equal to eta times Pp. And this therefore implies that Vs times Is must be equal to eta times Vp times Ip. And there's, so then there's an extra factor of eta compared to the ideal transformer. So how do we address the equations for Vs and Is to make this factor of eta appear in this equation? Recall that Vs and Is are linearly scaled with respect to each other since they are related by a factor of the resistance. Therefore, since their product is a factor of eta, it is logical that each of the Vs and Is will be multiplied by a factor of the square root of eta. Using the same example, if the transformer has 81% power efficiency, then the output voltage and current will be the square root of 81%, which is 90% of the idealized our power um, output of uh, voltage and current. 